on the same subject, same yes. question. Um, on that, I have supported the amendment that defines life at conception, and I think that's important. But I don't endorse the idea that the enforcement should come from the federal government. We don't need another police force in Washington. We already have 100,000 bureaucrats running around with guns, so we don't need more enforcement. All acts of violence under our Constitution, like murder and uh, injury and robbery, uh, that's not a federal offense. It's a state offense, and laws do vary. So I would not want to repeal that provision. It was meant that it would be handled at, at the states. And we have to remember, when we tend to nationalize things, we expose ourselves to great danger. Because when they make a mistake, it's national. This is the reason that we had Roe versus Wade. They should have never heard that case. They nationalized it. So I'm very cautious about uh, nationalizing, uh, nationalizing these laws. So it would be much better to uh, state when life begins, make the law enforcement at the, at the state level, which has been tr uh, traditional. But uh, it, it should not be that we uh, enforce this law at the national level, but there's no reason why we can't define when life begins. But, but if they nationalize the problem, why is it wrong to nationalize the solution? Well, what you, and, and I would be glad to do that. And the solution, I could have, it would have been solved 10 years ago because I've been pushing a law that could have been passed by majority vote when we had the House and the Senate and the presidency. If we would have been determined, we could have repealed Roe versus Wade by passing the law of the, called the We the People Act. It removes the jurisdictions from the federal court. So you remove this jurisdiction, which is a constitutional authority that could have been done 10 years ago. We could have continued to work on the amendment. We could have continued to change the courts. But if we would have passed that by majority vote, we would have saved millions of lives, and we have not had the support from the right to life community to at least do that, and I do not understand why that is the case, because we would have accomplished that in short period of time, we would have not distracted from the national solution of amending the Constitution and changing our Supreme Court. Thank you very much, uh, Congressman.